everyone. Um, just wrapping up my workout here at vacation. And when I travel on vacation, uh, if I can, if I'm going someplace by car, I like to bring um, some kettlebells and some bands with me. Um, I know it's not possible for everyone. I mean, everyone should have a set of bands they can travel with. Really easy, cheap, great exercise tools. Um, but if I can, I try to bring some kettlebells. I have a set of kettlebells at home, so I try to bring some with me to do some work, some strength work with. And uh, they're really versatile. You can do a lot of stuff with them, so they're really great to travel with if you have them. And just one kettlebell would be great. Um, but one of the things that I like to do with kettlebells is squats, right? Um, but oftentimes, um, especially when you're traveling, you have a limited number of kettlebells and limited weights. You probably don't have, uh, if you squat a lot of weight, you don't have kettlebells that are heavy enough to really challenge you. Um, one of the ways I like to increase the challenge when I don't have, when I have lighter kettlebells is to use bands. Um, and how do you do that? So <clears throat> there's a couple of ways you can do it. Um, for this one, with this, I have a 53 pound kettlebell. You can obviously squat more than 53 pounds. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the band through the handle of the kettlebell and put the band around my feet here. And then I'm going to, uh, the, the hardest part about this is getting the bell up. So what I do is lay it down so the handle's facing you. And then what I do is uh, kind of squat down and curl the kettlebell up. And then stand up. And now you have the band providing more resistance at the top uh, when, you, when you push up. Right, so you can squat down. You push up. Down, push up, squat down, push up. And same thing coming the kettlebell down, you want to be real careful. It doesn't take a lot to make this hard. So I have here just a really thin, maybe quarter inch band. It's not something that's incredibly thick or anything like that. And that provides a lot of extra resistance. That kind of reverses the resistance on you too. I generally when you squat down with the bell, hardest part is at the bottom of the squat. Hold the band uh, around your feet. When you stand back up, it's providing more resi resistance as you go up, right? So the further you stretch this band, the more resistance it has, right? So that's one way. The other way is I have a bit heavier bell here, the bigger band. So this is, I think, an 88 pound. Okay, bell. This is not something that I can gobble squat, but I can easily, you know, pick it up with two hands and do some sumo squats with it, right? Pretty easy. So if I want to increase the resistance on that, what I can do, I have a very thick band here. And I'm going to hand it from the end of the bell, wrap it around my feet. Now, when I pull up, you want to spread your feet of arc a little bit here. When you pull up, so you squat down, push up, the band's pulling back down. Squat down, push up, down, push up. So that's one way. Another way you could use a band plus a kettlebell to add more resistance to your kettlebell squats. So I hope you found that useful.